Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. In this video, we'll talk about OnePlus 12 features, tips and tricks, and also some settings which you guys need to enable right away soon you purchase OnePlus 12. I know some users might be aware about all these features and settings, but still, even the OG OnePlus gang would find one new setting or feature by watching this video. And please don't comment that 99% of these features are available on other OnePlus smartphones. This video is dedicated for new OnePlus users who are planning to buy new OnePlus smartphone. And now, before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So here we have our OnePlus 12 and the first setting, I would say it's a tip and that's to disable the internet application soon you get your device because applications like weather, if you want to check out more details about the weather, by default, it will open up the internet application. So I would recommend make sure you disable it soon you get your device. Once you disable this application, the device will use your default browser. For example, in my case, I have Chrome application pre-installed. So that application will be open by default. And one of my favorite feature on OnePlus 12, which I use on daily basis that can be found under sound effects there's a new option called holo audio and trust me guys it's a next level feature which lets you feel the sound from different location when you're playing multiple audio sources at the same time and i personally use this feature with my oneplus buds pro and you also get the option to customize these special settings for example here you can see i have the alarm i can shift it anywhere as per my requirement and the same thing can be done with other settings too. And you guys must try out this feature. It's next level. OnePlus 12 camera also have some unique feature. One of them is this master mode, which features Hasselblad color tuning to enhance your photos with more natural and vibrant color. Previously, there used to be a pro mode, but do not worry, pro mode have not been removed. You can see towards the left hand side. Now there are two options. You also have the option to enable pro mode and the auto mode. From here, you can make adjustments in the saturation, contrast, sharpness, vintage. And after that, OnePlus have also given 4K 30fps video recording option with the front camera. We also have this interval shooting option now where you can set the number of shots along with the time interval. By default, it's set to 3 seconds and number of shots are 5. You can make changes as per your requirement. And there are also some handy options like shooting mode. You can tap anywhere on the screen to capture a picture and anytime you can show the palm to the screen that will also let you capture the picture. You can set default focal lens. By default you can see it is set to 23mm. There are options by which you can set it to 28mm and 35mm. So for example if you choose 35mm and if you go here whenever you open the camera application you can see 1.5x in action. There's another handy feature wherein you can use the volume button to control shutter and zoom. And for me, personally, zoom is the best option. You just have to press the volume up or down key to zoom in or zoom out. OnePlus also added this option to change the exposure value directly on the main home page. On OnePlus smartphones, you also have the option of floating windows where you can use only one application at the same time. On other OEMs I have seen, we can use multiple applications. But still, this is a very useful feature. You can swipe towards the right hand side and it will appear in a pill. Whenever it is required, you can tap and open it. It doesn't support all the applications. So if you want to check out which application is supported, you just have to open the recent page. Tap on these three dots. If that particular app supports floating windows, you will have an option of floating window. A lot of OnePlus users are still waiting for the grid size to be changed in the app drawer. But sadly, there is no option on OnePlus 12 also. You just have the option to change the grid size on the home screen. You can't make changes in the grid size of app drawer. But on the home screen, you can choose grid size up to 5 into 6. I hope in future OnePlus adds the grid size option for the app drawer too. If you don't like the animations set by default on Oxygen OS 14, you can make changes from the home screen setting. By default, they are set to medium and you can set them to fast. After that, you can see lightning fast animations. And we also get nice gestures in the OnePlus launcher. For example, you have some applications on the top side of the screen and you want to access them with one hand. You just have to swipe the edge from the bottom side and you can see all those applications are now towards bottom side. Just go on that particular application which you want to open and release your finger. In the launcher, we also have another gesture wherein you can at once slide down all the applications towards the bottom side. So if you want to move all the applications, generally what people do is they hold the application one by one and drag them towards the bottom side. But you can just pinch on the screen on OnePlus smartphone and do a swipe down gesture all the applications will come towards the bottom side. And the same way you can send them on the top side or the bottom side. But this feature won't work if you have enabled icon autofill. If this thing is enabled, you can see a pop-up which says icon fill is enabled. You have to disable that to use this particular gesture. After that, soon you get your OnePlus 12. By default, you'll have this option like whenever you swipe down, the OnePlus shelf will pop up. 
but this can be easily disabled by going to the launcher settings and here we have an option swipe down on the home screen there are three options which you can choose global or notification panel now you can swipe down from the, any part of the screen and the notification panel will pop up then in the launcher setting you also have the options like rise to wake double tap to wake the screen or turn off the screen and if you enable only this option this is only for lock screen so on the lock screen you can double tap to turn off the screen and also the double tap action to turn on the screen but to enable a feature wherein double tap to lock the screen from the home screen so for that you need to enable this feature under the home screen settings and there's also another good feature which we mostly see on oneplus smartphones under recent manager you can lock 10 applications by default you'll have five most used applications which will get automatically logged so whenever you clear the recent application those applications will not be closed for example here we have facebook gmail instagram etc so let me clear those applications and you'll see the logged application won't get cleared as you can see other applications like gmail whatsapp did not get closed because they are logged and you also have the ability where you can check out the ram in the recent page so under recent task manager you need to enable display ram information so whenever you open the recent page you can see the total ram on your device and the available ram there's also cool feature under the launcher itself where you can switch to different application just by the swipe gesture so if you go to system navigation and here you have an option called switch to previous app so you have to slide towards the left hand side until you see an app icon once you see that app icon you can release the gesture that will open up the previous used application oneplus smartphones are packed with gesture options so one of them is this mistouch prevention i personally don't use this because if i'm watching any video i always have to swipe on the screen twice but if I disable it, I can just swipe it once to close that video. And that makes task pretty easy. You can also make the changes in the sensitivity of back gestures. As you can see here, if I slide the slider to the higher position, here you'll see a preview up to where you have to slide the back gesture. So in this case, it's always better to use it at default setting or 50%. If you keep it too low, that will always trigger mistouch. Same thing you can do it for the left and right gesture. And there's also a gesture in the keyboard where you can enable it it's called mistouch prevention so if you have enabled it and swipe gesture from this portion where your keyboard starts and ends so here the back gesture won't work for some users it might be useful but i personally try to keep it off so that if i have to go back or i have to close the keyboard i can just do it from the bottom side or the area where keyboard is present not only gesture oneplus also provides a lot of motion features also in terms of gestures we have all these things like screen of gestures where you can just use a simple drawing to launch camera application or to toggle torch you can also customize the gestures as per your requirement and all these gestures are pretty useful if your device is locked we have gestures like swipe three fingers to take a screenshot and there's also an option where you can touch and hold the screen to take a partial screenshot and again it's a very useful feature oneplus have also added this new air gesture where you can pick up the call using gesture and there's also an option to mute the call just with your simple gesture and this air gesture works really good under motions we also have rise to wake the device and you also have an option where you can lift to ear to answer the call and if you're taking a call over the loudspeaker or if you're listening to any call recording you can just take your phone near to the ear and this way device will automatically switch the audio output to receiver we also have flip to mute the incoming calls option there's another cool gesture where you can use three fingers to open this split screen mode once you swipe up with three fingers the application on which you have swiped will go towards the top side and later on you can open the other supporting application we also have this quick launch option where you can set specific functions of every application for example here you can see i have airtel application in which i can select airtel thanks benefit under amazon also there are few options where you can check out the orders directly you can add an option to create a new event for the camera you also have things like portrait mode and this is how you can launch if your device is logged you just have to touch and hold the fingerprint scanner and swipe a little bit to access those applications or the options as you can see here if you go to settings special features there are a lot of features here one of them is this flexi window where you can enable things like button free mode so if you have opened the application in floating windows it will hide the action button and you can just tap on the top side to close the application so let me show you that thing so here we have chrome application i'll open it in floating windows and instead of having that close icon on the right top corner i just have to tap on the top side a close option will pop up then later on you can close the application then we also have an option where you can quickly hide the app if you are playing any game and at last there's also a feature called share via floating windows so for example if i want to share this url 
I just have to tap on share and if I open any application where I want to share this URL that application will pop up in floating windows mode. Then OnePlus have also given this new option or the feature which is called smart sidebar. So in this two exclusive features are there one is file doc and the second one is recents file. I'll tell you how does it work. So if you are on the home screen, you just have to swipe the smart sidebar. There are two options, file doc and recents page. And this lets you easily save your content. For example, here we have text, I'll long press on it and you can see the file doc popped up. I can save my data there. And this also gets synced with my other OnePlus smartphones having the same account. So if I want to use the data from file doc, I can use it directly from here on my other OnePlus smartphones. And same way you can access the recent images and the documents which are present on your device. It's a pretty useful feature and this is not only restricted to text, you can also save the images here in the file doc. From the smart sidebar, you can directly open the applications in floating windows to have easy access. And OnePlus have also added this dynamic island type stuff and it works great with applications like clock, zomato and more. You can see a pill appearing in the status bar. Tapping and holding on it, it will give you more information. Then you also get to see features like kids mode where you can create a dedicated home screen. Along with that, you can also set the screen time for kids and there's also option to monitor your child's setting position. You also have this ability to record screen in 2K where you can also set the frame rate to dynamic 60, 30, 24 or 15 FPS. And if you are the one who records game, you can also use the front camera to record your game plays. I also like this feature called assistive ball and it can come in very handy if your device physical buttons get spoiled. Or if you are someone who doesn't want to use the physical buttons, you can control your device using assistive ball. You can select between gesture operations and tap menu. And if you touch this icon, the other options will pop up like going directly to the home page. We also have support of one handed mode wherein you can use your device with single hand and nowadays it's a bit difficult to use devices with larger screen with one hand. So here this feature comes in handy. You can customize the power button but OnePlus lacks few features. Even nothing I've given a lot of options where you can customize the power button with a lot many options. But on OnePlus you do have these two options where you can choose from Google Assistant and Power Menu. After that there's an option called Retouch Appearance in the Video Call. A similar feature which I've seen on Samsung smartphones but there Samsung supports almost every application. Here I have installed some basic applications like WhatsApp, Telegram and other things but none of these applications appear here. I hope in future OnePlus gives the support for applications like WhatsApp, Telegram. And I always recommend OnePlus users to enable this feature so according to the time what you set you can automatically turn on or turn off your device. This will help you in a lot of ways like clearing the background caches. Your device performance will also be a lot better. As we all know, Samsung have introduced a lot of AI features on Samsung S24, but we only have two AI features present on OnePlus smartphones. One of them is like whenever you take a screenshot, you can just go to the edit icon. We have Pixelate 2.0, which has this auto option. Here AI will analyze the text or other sensitive information and it will automatically blur it out. Here it uses AI. Then the second AI feature is Smart Cutout using which you can extract the subject from the photo and later on if you want you can save it in the file doc or share it with your friends. So only these two AI features are present on OnePlus smartphones right now. We also get the support of 90 FPS in games like BGMI so by default, you can see under smooth, we have the 90 FPS option. But if you guys don't see 90 FPS in action, make sure you enable things like touch optimization. From here, enable hyper response engine. This option should provide you 90 FPS. Let me show you if I apply in the lobby settings. And here you can see right now, we are getting 90 FPS option. Other than that, OnePlus 12 brings a new feature called adaptive frame booster. So this will boost the frame. But for that, you have to set your device to 60 FPS. If it's already on 90 FPS, you won't be able to enable it. Then we also have the hyper resolution option, which can be triggered from here. OnePlus 12 has the best haptic feedback and you will obviously enjoy once you have the device in your hand. So in the sounds and vibration setting, there's an option called haptic. Make sure to set the haptic intensity to max to have that great haptic experience while using the device. There are two options. One is crisp and the second one is gentle. And I'll recommend to use the crisp option and also if you want to see sharper images on the device make sure the resolution is set to high and there's also another option on oneplus 12 which is called adaptive detail enhancement this will identify the scene and give you the best results when it comes to video or reading app after that i also recommend to use the higher refresh rate which is 120 hertz but always remember this option will drain little extra battery in that case what you can do oneplus have introduced this new feature called app specific refresh rate 
from where you can select the specific apps which you use a lot and set the maximum refresh rate for those particular applications instead of all the applications. And in past we have seen a lot of complaints that OnePlus doesn't support 120Hz in apps like YouTube but now by default 120Hz option we get. If you want to make changes, you can set it to 90 or 60 Hertz. Now let's talk about customization options. So OnePlus doesn't come with much of customization and you won't get to see any additional customization options on OnePlus 12. By default, we have seven system AOD styles. Recently introduced with Oxygen OS 14 is this carbon footprint, which gives you a nice message that walking 10,000 steps will reduce the carbon emission by 1.74 kg. You also have this exclusive one sand font and which looks really great. Fingerprint animation, we have the similar stuff what we get to see on other OnePlus smartphones along with the edge lightning options. And there are some special features which can be used on OnePlus 12. One of them is this app lock where you can set a different privacy password to lock the applications and the same thing goes with hide application, private safe and a system cloner where you can create two system. I've already created one. If, if I enter other system, you can see for this, I had to set a different password. And this can come in really handy if someone at your place wants to use your device. In the secondary system, there are a lot of things which you can do. For example, you can disable the notifications from the main system too. So guys, these are all the features which you'll get to see on OnePlus 12. I hope I have covered almost everything. So in this case, if you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.